Okay, so here we are. I'm back with the setup, and let's keep in mind I I use a lot of things that I have around the house or that I find for free. I, I try not to spend money on something that if I don't have to. So this is an old baking sheet that we had here at the house, and and remember when you're cooking your wax in the oven. You're not putting it on very high temperature, so it's safe. Paper towels, paper, they're not going to burn. At 200, 225, it's, it's not hot enough to do that. So I use this just because it's good and solid. It's something easy to grab a hold of, the pot holders, when I pull it out of my whole setup out. Then I have a roasting pan, just an aluminum roasting pan. Um, and I'll typically put an inch of water or so in, in here and then I have this I just built this box I mean it's it's an an open box just some one by material I had in the garage nailed it together then got some wire um, you can use mesh wire that's got a little bit bigger hole in it or something with smaller hose just something that the the wax can melt through because it'll go through this paper towel that you see here that's my filter so I, I put these little wires on each side just kind of hold up the the paper towel so what I'm gonna do is I'll get the the dirty wax the cappings or however I get it and I'll put as much as I can in here and remember, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here that'll melt down and it won't, it'll stay on top. The wax will go down into the water along with the honey. You're always going to have a little bit of honey left in this. That's why I recommend if you store this in your garage, I put it in some, some kind of plastic container to seal it up. Every time I go out there to get it, some bees wax out, uh, it never fails. I have bees. That come to check it out they they sense that that sweetness I guess and they're coming to eat and then if you don't have it in containers and it stays out in your garage for a long time ants will eventually find it I learned that the hard way so I'm gonna fill this thing up I just happen to have plenty oh great and it's funny man this this has been in my garage forever. There's a moth or something. Yeah, be ready for critters. They find their way in. This was wrapped up in a plastic bag and in a box that was closed. Don't guess I need to leave this in the house. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's fresh. You, there's no telling what you'll find in these chunks of dirty wax. Alright, so this worked out perfect. I've been meaning to melt some wax. I've been meaning to do a video. And we're gonna do both. So this here's a candle mold. That doesn't need to go in there. Okay, we'll get the oven warm and be ready to put this in here in just a little bit. 